So what took place at Fort Charleston was the joint readiness exercise where the joint deployment distribution enterprise assesses its ability to, to move mass equipment from one point to another during a major military action. The intent of the GRE is, is to assess the, the, the readiness and the capability of the joint deployment distribution enterprise, right, and its ability to move at the speed of war. Essentially, you have U.S. Transcom as the Joint Deployment Distribution Enterprise Coordinator. We have some of our component organizations, MSC and SEDC, along with the 101st Airborne. And essentially what we're doing is allowing Forces Command to really see how their actual installations and subordinate units can pivot to real world operations on no notice. Our relationship with our commercial partners is key to our success. For example, it was commercial rail that picked up the equipment at Fort Campbell, Kentucky and brought it here to our rail yards here both at Wharf Alpha and also here on TC Dockside. That's how our equipment gets large scale movement from one installation to another. That's just one method. We can also line haul, especially for light infantry brigade units that have smaller rolling stock equipment. But for rail, that's also key for events where we would perhaps be moving like an armored brigade combat team, larger scale uh, tracked vehicle equipment. In this case, also once the equipment was received here at our railhead. It was our International Longshoremen Association, known as our ILA Contracted Labor, our stevedores and longshoremen, who bring the equipment off of the rail cars, safely stage it into our staging yards and our secure holding facilities for sensitive items, and then also are the ones who drive the equipment up onto the vessels and pack it. And it's amazing to see how well and tightly they pack this equipment onto these vessels that maximizes the efficiency of the storage space. We need to continually train. Uh, that training that we do on a day-to-day -day basis allows us to keep the Army on the move, allows us to maintain that readiness, to be able to respond to current world events, such as the things that we're currently operating as the execution of evacuation operations from Afghanistan, things like hurricane response that are happening with Hurricane Ida. I mean, you name it, our ability to train, first of all, keeps us ready when the world needs us.